What makes a scene that your clients will want to step into? Is it picturesque landscapes with thousands of different trees and plants? Or maybe stylish furniture and other lived in items? Lumion has both. Let's explore objects. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to quickly navigate the diverse content library of over 6,400 objects and show you three tools for placing objects that are sure to amplify your workflow. And make sure to stick around to the end because after we cover placing objects, I'm gonna share with you four layers you need to keep your Lumion projects organized. Let's get to it. Let's take another look at the content library tab at the bottom left so we can start populating our scene with realistic objects. To see the object library, Make sure to click on the place button first, then select a top level category to find the perfect object for your scene. Within each of these categories are several subcategories. And within each subcategory, there are often several pages of results. And now in Lumion 12, you can roll your scroll wheel to smoothly browse choices. These other icons in the object area allow you to select and move, rotate, scale, and delete objects. Let's go back to place. Click on the effects category and then hover over to the decal subcategory. These are new in Lumion 12. Click on one of them and you will notice that the model is attached to your mouse. Move your mouse into the scene. Click anywhere on the ground to place it. While we are in the effects, let's also check out volumetric fire. Click on the fire subcategory. You can see the volumetric fire options here. Click on one. Move your mouse into the scene. Click anywhere on the ground to place it adjust its properties to get the right look. Now, let's add some lights. Choose from spotlights, omni lights, and area lights. An omni light placed near this fire can cast a nice warm glow with some more brightness and a little bit of color. A line light here will really highlight this wall. Adjust the rotation and brightness. Let's add some spotlights. Click here to select all identical objects, then adjust all of their cone angles, brightness, and color at the same time. Click here to load your own custom IES spotlights. Next, we're going to place a few fine detail trees, which you can find in the fine detail nature category. You can use keyboard shortcuts to rotate and scale to get the object just right before placing. All of these objects are pre-animated, truly optimized for Lumion. They even respond to weather. You can see this tree gently blowing in the breeze. Heads up, these fine detail nature models are much richer than the other nature objects in Lumion. As a result, they'll make your scene heavier and can slow down render speed. So use the fine detail nature model sparingly. You can grow your landscape really fast using the mass placement function. Let's go back to the nature category and choose a plant model. Click here to activate the mass placement tool. Click to start the line, then hold control to continue to add points. This menu pops up for you to adjust the number of items, direction, spacing, and offsets. It's easy to add additional objects to the mass placement path. Click on another object in the library, then click on the plus sign. See how it gets mixed in? Click the check mark to confirm. Let's add more trees even faster with the paint placement tool. Click here to activate it. Pick an object, set the density, then hold the left mouse button and sweep your mouse like a brush across an area to place hundreds of nature objects in your scene. Switch to erase to thin out the paint placement and achieve a more realistic result. Use the other object categories to further your design narrative. With these powerful placement tools and extensive library, your model will go from barren to lush in minutes. The select, rotate, scale, and delete tools give you full control of the objects in your scene. Click here to edit all categories at the same time or choose a specific category to isolate while editing. You can always edit an object's properties by clicking on it with the select tool. Adjust the transparency of a tree to help your design show through. If you move the mouse to the top of the screen, layers will appear. You can have up to 20 layers, but here's four to start with that will keep any Lumion project organized. I like to organize by imports, lights, landscape elements, and entourage objects in each of my layers. This scene is complete, but wouldn't you like to see a better picture of it? Follow me to this video to finish the last step of the process by mixing effects and rendering out some still images. Or check out this playlist I made for you to dive deeper into working with Lumion's objects. Either way, I'll see you there.